Hey guys, this is Black Bolt. Hope everyone is doing well. I recently got to test drive the 2022 Chevy Bolt EUV and it is amazing. So this is the interior. It's um blue leather seats. Looks really good. There's our sticker, 37,000. Back seat. There's the space. And I'm about 5'9 with long soccer player legs. USB and USB-C charging ports. And then, let's see if I can open the trunk. It comes with the, the um, charger. So you can see that's a dryer charger. And then way more space than in my current Bolt, which I like a lot. And um, this trunk looks like it's about the same size as the one in the current Bolt, except from it's much deeper. So. what the car looks like from the back it's a gunmetal color it is a much better looking car in person than it is on video I have to give it that definitely better looking than my car to start with some admin stuff thank you to everybody who watches my channel and a special thank you to everyone who has subscribed um, as of right now about 13% of the people who watch my channel are subscribers that means that there are about 87% of you who have watched my channel and haven't subscribed if you've watched more than one video and you keep coming back please go ahead and subscribe and hit the thumbs up button it's good for the algorithm and it'll help the channel grow my initial impression upon seeing the car and sitting in the car was that I really liked it a lot um, interior wise it's very comfortable I've never complained about the seats in my Bolt EV but after sitting in the new EUV, the seats are, are definitely upgraded. They're far more comfortable. Um, they feel better. Um, there are better materials overall in the car. Um, the display is also much better, as is the radio. So here we go, guys. I'm going to let you enjoy the ride without hearing too much of my voice. Alright guys, so this is a 2022 Chevy Bolt EUV. This is my first drive of the EUV and it is really, really nice. Um, it is much comfortable, the seats are much better. This is an LT, list price is $37,000, but um, the dealer said that there are discounts on it. But I'm not going to be buying a car today or anytime soon because um, you guys know that we are working on being debt free before we buy new cool things but I just wanted to come out and test drive this because it is a great opportunity and this is the first one that my local Chevy dealer has had um, this is friendly Chevrolet and Fridley and um, the dealer by my house they're not really good with EVs but they've not even had any show up yet so I wanted to come and drive this one before it was sold. The brake paddle is on the left.
right guys so I just noticed one pedal driving defaults to on and it just stays in D mode there's um, there's no selection for L I guess and this is as smooth as can be this is really well done by Chevy really impressive vehicle so far So check that out, this car has 12 miles on it. And right now it's saying 230 miles of range. I just put it on sport mode and also put on the lane keep. And it looks like it also has um, distance meter. All right, so it gets up to 60 in a hurry. So I'm in a red light. I am turning to go back to the dealership, which is right there. So while we're here, let's take a look at... This is really cool. I like that a lot. That's the lane keep assist. That's traction control there. That's sport mode. CarPlay. Android Auto energy screen this is really nice compared to what I have which is um, pretty basic in the 2017s um, whoever was driving this was not being very efficient you can see lifetime it's 2.2 miles per kilowatt hour well I guess that was me since there are miles in the car and I have it in sport mode climate settings is using a lot of energy because it's 85 degrees out um, looks like it has Bluetooth, OnStar, there are no um, directions right now. So let's go back to energy, 3.3 kilowatt hours used, 9 miles, 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour, that's, yeah, pretty good. Alright, so we are headed back towards the Chevy dealer. Also guys, I have an amazing wife. When I showed her footage of the car, she actually said that I could buy it if I really wanted to because she knows that I spend a lot of time in the car. But we're just going to wait until it makes more sense financially for us. Um, I would like to be able to buy one with cash, hopefully when they hit the used car market in the next year or so, or maybe when GM offers some serious incentive. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this ride of the 2022 Bolt EUV. Like, comment, and subscribe, and be an active member of the Black Bolt community. One more thing. It has a regular mirror, which I don't really like. Um, both my car and my wife's Traverse have the digital ones, which I've come to prefer because you get a much better view. Steering wheel looks really good though, and it feels really good, super comfortable. So here I am back at Friendly Chevrolet.